All those opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Move that the town transfer from available funds $56,986 insurance proceeds and further transfer from capital stabilization account $51,853 for the following capital projects. Protective equipment sponsored by the fire department $9,800. Web-based fire reporting system again sponsored by the fire department $9,900. Firefighting gear, the fire department, $3,850. Waste oil burner, DPW, $6,653. Garage door and windows, DPW, $10,150. Emergency communication systems, police and dispatch, $56,986. Sander unit, DPW, $11,500 for a grand total of $108,800. And $39. Again, this is a two thirds majority. Select board recommends a 4 4 1 abstention. Finance committee recommends 3 4 none, I'm sorry, 3 4 none against. Capital planning uh, committee recommends for each and every article here, with the exception of the garage doors and the windows, which they recommended against in a 4 to 1 vote. Is that clear to everybody? Okay. Is there a motion? And a second. second. Okay. Selectman West. Um, let's see. There's a, there's quite a few items here, and I'll just generally go down them and give everybody some background. Um, when the the fire department, the protective equipment, the web-based fire reporting system, and the firefighting gear. Um, I'm sure you're well aware that that was actually in their operating budget. Uh, this last time, and to balance the budget, we took items out of them and moved them to capital. We did that with those three items, so we were well aware that we were going to have to do that in the fall. Um, the only good thing is those three things get them caught up, and from here on out, they should be replacing that in their operating budget so that we won't see those items come back to the capital. Um, waste oil burner, we recommend that. This would be a second one. They currently have one. This would be a second one. Um, the one that everybody might have a question about is the emergency communication systems. This is down at the public safety building for the dispatchers. Um, we, we are getting that money from the insurance company, but we have to appropriate it before we can spend it. So that's why that's on there. And if you notice, that's not actually coming out of capital stabilization. That's coming from insurance proceeds. And then we, the capital committee recommended buying a sander unit for one of the trucks at the DPW, and that would be a slide-in unit for that truck. Further discussion? Edwin Matusko, 116 Stockbridge Street. So it, it's kind of confusing as to why some committee, uh, some departments, some committees are all in favor of a lot of this stuff and some aren't. It'd be nice if the finance committee could explain what their differences are. Absolutely. And, uh, I'm sorry, the finance committee recommended this 5 0. The, the uh, capital planning. Three zero. I'm sorry. Three zero. Three zero. Three zero. The the capital uh, capital planning um, didn't want the garage door. Yeah, but then it says the Sander unit recommended to be purchased in the snow and ice budget. That's been revised. Okay. Uh, uh, I guess um, the waste oil burner. We have one now, and so we we generate that much waste oil. We need two. And would it be available for citizens to bring their waste oil? The short answer to that is yes. <laughs> uh, way back when, when the transfer station was first created, uh, Duso was running the transfer station, and they had donated one to us. And we had it in the small side of the shop at the DPW. And we saved so much money over the past, I don't know, probably 15 years now or so. Uh, we had thought, all of us, that a uh, second one in the larger side of the shop where we're using fuel oil 
we, we do produce enough and the residents bring enough of waste oil in where we can run two units throughout the winter pretty much for free. Okay, good. So I can bring my waste oil to the DPW yard in... Absolutely. Between 7 and 3.30, there's someone there to take your oil from you. Thank you. I didn't know that. <laughs> Next question. Michelle Horowitz, 16 Barstow Lane. Two questions. One is to the Capital Planning Committee. Could you explain your no vote? And if we agree with you, is there a way of separating that one out from the rest of the item? And two, this is Article 5. I believe four of the five have had different figures, Jerry, that you've read out than what we got in our warrants that we picked up tonight. Uh, it's not so much a question as a plea for waiting long enough to print these so that the numbers correspond so that we can follow them better. Garage door and windows. Okay, I'm oh, Chair Frank Quadro. <laughs> uh, I'll speak to the garage doors and windows for the Capitol Group. Uh, as you all know, we've had. Uh, the architectural firm DRA review the buildings uh, at the time that we were reviewing uh, this request. Uh, we decided to table it only because we know that there is a master plan afoot to renovate the buildings. It doesn't say that these departments don't need these items. We just uh, sidelined it or tabled it pending that review. So where do we stand? Uh, the the uh, report has been submitted to the selectmen, and I believe in January that the uh, architectural firm with the select board are going to make a presentation to the town. Is that correct? So why do you have that? Even though capital planning uh, did not recommend the doors and windows, everybody here in has the opportunity to vote on it. And obviously, if there's enough support here tonight, then it would get done. Um, we were, at the time, we were thinking, do you put the doors and windows in and potentially you know, reconfigure the DPW within a couple years? It's not, uh, Frank has actually looked at it, the door is operational. It's not gonna fall off and land on somebody's head. It's not the prettiest thing, but it, it is functional. Tim Nyhart, town building inspector. Uh, I was asked to look at the door and the windows, uh, and unfortunately my conclusion was, I think it is a safety hazard for the door, uh, those doors, are, that one door is used consistently and it goes up and down throughout the day. It is in very bad shape. The bottom panel has been repaired numerous times. The top panel has been repaired numerous times. It has been ripped off of the um, door closure and it is a problem. Um, the windows, they want to replace some of the windows only because they are they're constantly cracking. Uh, they're very old. They're the old uh, metal frame, single pane glass. Uh, they are a safety hazard. It is the type of glass one would not use in a building anymore. So I was asked to look at them, and my recommendation was for replacement. Uh, along with the heating oil and the waste oil burners, the garage doors and the windows are all part of this, I feel like, Timmy. Uh, they should be replaced at this time in the condition they're in. The building, I believe, is what, 1972 or 4? And there are the original windows in there. The doors have been replaced once, and they're used 20 times a day up and down. They're, they're, they're pretty worn out. Further discussion? Seeing none, I'll call for a vote. All those in favor, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed? 
Motion passes unanimously. Thank you.